Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Mini Project 6 Code B. As I explained before, you have two types of motors covered in this section DC motors and servo motors. So, what is the difference between the DC motor and the servo motor? As I explained before, DC motor rotates 360, and servo motors here they rotate only till 180 degrees. In DC motor, you cannot decide the angle, but in servo motor, you can have a rotation in a specific angle from 0 till 180. One last thing here is that motor have only two wires, but servo motors have always three wires here. So now let's start with Tinkercad. Go to circuits, create new circuits. As usual, don't forget to change your name. Then enter. Let's go to search and write servo and then enter. Now you can see there are two types here. They are all the same here, different figures. You just need to drag this one here. So now you have a connection, already starters connection with a servo motor. As you can see, servo motor have three wires. One always go to the ground, which is this one, first one. The other one here always go to five volt, which is the power, one for the ground, one for the power finally one is where you need to connect it to the digital pin where you want to control your servo okay so the other wire here is for the place for the connection now let's go to code change it to text continue and here you go so let me delete everything here and start from the beginning first of all you have two main function which are void setup and void loop so what's inside the setup runs only once what's inside the loop will run repeatedly for you okay so to deal with servo motor first of all you need to include the servo.h so you need to include the servo library so let's write this one here Don't forget the S here in capital letter, okay? Second step here is to add the servo and give it a name, okay? Like before we used to write int and give it a name, here we need to create a servo object. How to create it? You need to write servo, S here in capital, and then give it a name. So you write any name here. Let's call it test servo and then semicolon. So now I created a servo object and I call it test servo. This is the name here for the servo object. S here in capital and S here in capital. Now in void setup, I need to write the code of where did I connect my servo. So now this is the name here. Now here you need to write the same name dot attach and then where is my pen connected? As you can see here, the number nine pen is connected to the servo motor here. So here I need to write nine. So finally here inside the loop, you can decide what exactly do you want from the servo to do. Do you want it to rotate 90 degree? Just write here 90. If you wanted to, to rotate 180 degree, just write here 180. So put into consideration that the angle here should start from zero till 180 only. Okay, so here, this name, the object that we name it here, then dot right, and then give the angle. So here, let's make it 90 degree. So we will write 90 and then semicolon. So let's start the simulation and see the result. So you will find it rotating 90 degree. So to have a better view here or to see the angle in a better way, you just give one click here and then rotate it one, two, three, four, ten times. Okay, and then let's start the simulation. 
now you can see it's 90 degree easily so let's see it's 90 degree from here till here it's 90 degree now let's stop the simulation let's make it a delay for one second so it should be faster here and let's make it 180 degree so let's start the simulation and see the result so see it's faster and 180 degree so the delay here is to specify the time of the rotation here and the test servo here is to decide at what angle you want your servo to rotate okay so that's it now let's go to mini project 6 and start the project so this is mini project 6 so the output today is to use the servo library to control the servo motor so the project for today is to start and then make this the servo motor rotate zero for one second and then rotate 90 degree for one second and then rotate 180 degree for another one second so i think you we can simply do, do this by using the same code here so first of all zero second copy paste and then 90 degree again for one second and then finally 180 degree for one second let's start the simulation and see the result so this is the same code which is written here let's go to many project B. okay copy everything here stop the simulation and paste it over there and let's see the result will it be the same 0 1 second 91 second 181 second and then it will run repeatedly so it is the same if you want to check here include the library and then create the servo object but in this case what is the difference between our code and this code this code the name here is my servo and you can see here my servo here my servo everywhere is my servo and this one is for the comments it's not part of the code okay so now let's go to the first question here add more stages within the same range so that the motor rotates for the following angle so those are the angles so let's copy it so here go to the delay last one before you close the loop here okay here you need to write your code so first of all let me write this one as a code so let me paste this as a comment and here we go so simply you can just copy the same one here let me delete this one so here instead of 180 i will put 45 and then i will copy this one two times copy copy so here 45 here 70 and here 135 and that's it so now there will be extra angles the motor will rotate and each time it will wait for one second so take a screenshot of this one here and let's move to the second question so now here if you want the servo motor to rotate from angle 0 to angle 180 with one degree per rotation then you will need 180 lines of code for this part of the code only right so because every time first zero then one two three four till you reach 180 it's impossible so instead use what you have learned about four loops and rotate the servo through its whole range from zero till 180 of course because this is the limit for the for the servo one degree at a time so this is the increment and the delay of 20 millisecond for each irritation so let's start with for loop here let's stop the simulation here we want to use everything the same except inside the loop so delete everything except the last two lines here so we will use them here so now you need to use for loop okay so four and then inside the four you open the bracket and then open for the action here okay so the action is to make the servo rotate but in this time we want the servo to rotate from 0 till 180 so I will give it a variable let's call it position 
so let's just call POS for uh, to make it easy for you so this is position here okay so inside the four here we need to write three uh, parameters here the first one is to define the variable so int position and it starts from zero okay the increment here let's make it position plus plus so each time you will add one to this position in the middle the position should be less than 180 and finally what is inside the delay is 20 milliseconds so what is inside here is in milliseconds so you will just write 20 here and let's start the simulation and see the result will it rotate 180 degree yes it rotates 180 degree let's stop the simulation take a screenshot and that's it good luck